Another great modding year comes to an end, but the question still stands. What are the best weapon mods you can add to your collection? Let's take a look at them. I am thrilled. So, the first mod we got is a huge expansion for Institute Weaponry, ETO Institute Technology Overhaul Weapons. Yes, the Institute Weapons have been a topic of many mods, and this overhaul here does a very good job at adding variety while maintaining the original lore-friendly style. This mod adds over 30 new weapons, mainly to the Institute faction, but also some to the Railroad faction as well. This includes all kinds of guns, from light pistols to heavy chain guns. And all of course with the vanilla modification possibilities. There are also some melee weapons and even a pen. Okay, let's try some of them out, I really have to see this pen in action. Okay, the pen does not shoot. I am slightly disappointed now. I expected some kind of James Bond action. There is also a very special baton. Why is it so special? And why am I showing it in equipped form? Well, that's because this happens when you drop it from the inventory. Must be made in China or something, I don't know. Anyway, there are also a couple of grenades and stealth boys in the appropriate fashion, but they don't do anything special, they just look differently. Overall, a very cool mod though. The next mod is the Lore Friendly 556 Collection. This mini collection includes three 556 caliber weapons, the light machine gun from New Vegas, the R91 and the 223 pistol from the cancelled Van Buren version of Fallout 3. There is a fair amount of customization for those weapons, lots of attachments, some legendary variants and also some experimental weapons using different types of ammo. Next, it seems, modders decided to go by the motto why add new stuff when we can improve existing guns. And so with the DAX Assault Rifle Replacer Redux, the infamous Assault Rifle gets a very deserved makeover. Obviously, looks much better than that weird pipe thing it used to be.
Nothing new to add about the customization, it's pretty much just vanilla stuff, just better looking of course. And let's also improve the animations while we are at it. Assault Rifle Reanimated adds a cool new set of realistic animations for this weapon. First and third person. And the same treatment also goes for the good old laser rifle, some nice new tasty animations. But next we are going to look at some more modern themed weapons. The Zenit Re Redux, so many Re's. It's another little weapon pack. It includes three Russian assault rifles, the AK-74M, the AKM and the AK-12. The customization here is quite huge, a lot of different attachments and parts for each of those rifles are available. Could use some different skins maybe, but other than that, a really cool mod. Another cool modern assault rifle mod is the Ultimate Scar Family, another port from Modern Warfare 22, with some really aggressive looking animations. The customization here is really nice. No skins though again, I guess skins are kinda not cool anymore. Lots of attachments however, even including a functional underbarrel grenade launcher with different grenade types. It functions just like throwing regular grenades. I like that. And another assault rifle mod, the STG-44, and a bit more classic weapon. It's German by the way, so it's not only an assault rifle, but also a Sturmgewehr.
Very nice customization here. We finally get to pick some different materials for the wooden and for the metal parts separately. There is also an iron cross charm you can attach to this weapon. Then we have another modern weapon mod, the Stoner Rifle. <laughs> what does it shoot? Blunts? This is some more weaponry from Modern Warfare 22. It actually includes two different weapons, the Semi-Automatic Sniper SR-25 and the X-12-13 Glock. And the customization here is really quite crazy. Not only do we get different ammo type options with different effects, but also finally all kinds of crazy skins. Although somehow there are only skins for the Glocks, but in exchange for that there is also a very badass unique variant of the SR-25. There it is, a golden gun with skull motifs, hell yeah, absolute pimp weapon, probably my favorite mod of this episode. So if you like handguns, you will like what comes next, we have many more of them. Beretta M9A3 is the next one, a modern Italian tactical handgun. The customization is quite okay here, a very nice variety of attachments and skins, and also one legendary variant. Also what stands out about this weapon is that you can customize the lasers and the flashlight separately or even turn them off completely. You can also choose different ammo types for this weapon. Then we have the FN502 Tactical, a very detailed and high quality looking pistol. A fair amount of customization for this one, keeping it realistic, nothing too crazy, and it also has a big selection of ammo types as well. The next handgun is a bit more interesting, the Remington New Army Revolver, a classic revolver with some fancy fitting animations.
The customization here is pretty limited, you can however turn it into a long ass handgun, like the one the Joker was using in the 1989 Batman. Or you can turn it into a kind of rifle. This will look kinda funny in third person though. Next we have a couple of shotgun mods, like the handmade lever action shotgun. This is a very interesting design, also featuring some very interesting custom parts. So, as I said, the customization here features some very creatively used dining utensils and more. This kind of stuff goes really well with Fallout. There is also a legendary variant called Darcy, and Darcy shoots in a unique way. There are also some different ammo options for this one too, looks like it's becoming mainstream. The next shotgun is a bit more generic, the famous Remington 870. Pretty sure I reviewed one of those already, let's see what this one has in store for us. The customization is quite okay, a fair amount of everything, and yes, there are also some ammo types available here too. And then we have another real classic weapon, the Stan Mark II Redux, a British SMG famous from World War II. The customization for this one is quite okay as well, enough parts to bring in some variety. And then we also have a big gun, the NZ-41. This weapon has a very interesting design. Looks almost like an LMG, but it's actually an automatic rifle. Beautiful customization for this unique weapon, I especially like the decorative stocks. Might actually change my opinion about what my favorite mod of this episode is. And this is it for this episode, the links to all mods are as always in the description below, don't forget to endorse the mods you like, and also make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more cool mods if you haven't yet. I thank you all for watching, and see you around.